the average age of the uh, the uh, launch team was in their late 20s. The older people were the Germans, which were a few years older, and they're the only people that had any experience in rocketry. You couldn't go out and hire a man with 20 years of rocket engine experience. It didn't exist. If you look at some of the pictures of the blockhouse back in those days, even the, the smaller blockhouses like on the Cape or even a Complex 39 with several hundred people, one thing you will not see is females and minorities. We had uh, security, then many things were classified secret, even our uh, countdown procedures. Dr. Davis called his staff into a meeting and he, he very uh, sternly says, what you hear in this meeting stays in this meeting, it's top secret. You're not to say anything about what goes on in, in this meeting. So he started talking. One of the guys on the team says, Hold it, Dr. Davis, you can't start this meeting now. Dr. Davis looked at this guy, I won't call his name, good friend of mine, and uh, he says, Why not? And uh, this guy pointed to the secretary, was, which was Billy Fitzgerald, was <laughs> over there by Dr. Davis. He says, Well, she's still in here. That's the reason you can't start him. So, so what? Well, you have been this guy told Dr. Davis, you know a woman can't keep a secret. <laughs> Dr. Davis says she stays. If you look at a, at a scene in the control room today, you'll see as many females and minorities as you would a uh, white uh, male. My name is Ike Ridgell, and that's my untold story from the Rocket Ranch.